advanced research on this project has been going since 2009. So to be able to finally talk about it and reveal it after all that time is wonderful. We don't have to keep it under wraps anymore. Uh, and it's also a proud moment. The biggest challenge in taking on this project really occurred before program kickoff. For two years, we were uh, using research models uh, around what should this truck be? How big, how tall, how wide, how many cabs, uh, what materials, what powertrain, um, core architectures for the frame. These were decisions we knew we needed to make because when you get a chance to do all new, that's very rare in this industry. And this thing has to continue to appeal to our truck users. It has to solve every question or problem that they want. And lining up those assumptions in that architecture early on was the biggest challenge. This was a great truck team. Uh, I had the benefit of working with people I've worked with in the past. I've done uh, super duty pickup trucks, both as a vehicle engineering manager and as a chief engineer. This is the first time I've done the F-150 F-Series, but I was paired up with Gordon Plato, the chief designer, and we've done trucks before. We're just a passionate group who love to do the right thing for our customers. Last year's Atlas was a great opportunity to see how that design and this design resonated with our, our customers and the general public, uh, including dealers and so forth. And based on their reception and the positive response we got to the Atlas, we incorporated most of those features and design signature elements uh, into this truck you see here. We heard consistently back from the customer, don't play with the size of the vehicle. If, if you're going after efficiencies, uh, we love full-size trucks. We like three across seating. We like the cabs you've got. We like the storage in the cabs you've got. Um, in that regard, this truck is, is evolutionary. It's got better visibility, uh, more shoulder room, a number of things they've asked for. Um, it's got revolutionary elements to it. When they want tougher and more efficient, better fuel efficiency, um, there you go after materials. And we studied lots of different modeling and basically said, you know, we're gonna do high strength steel frame, fully boxed, which is good in what we have today. And we're gonna do high strength aluminum alloys in the body, radical. We've got actually several different types of aluminum on the truck, uh, depending on whether or not you wanna uh, form it, uh, or if you need a certain area to be more ding and dent resistance. Uh, or if you need it more for structure. We put the aluminum where we, and the, the proper aluminum, in the space where we needed it uh, uh, to perform differently. Uh, trying to capture the essence of high-tech, advanced, and strong, Gordo knew. He knew from Super Duty, Gordo has done F-Series, and he was able to communicate to me in a language that I immediately understood, as well as I was able to say, hey, here's, here's the hard points. We are going to make this more, you know, a better seating position. We are going to have better visibility out of this vehicle. The box is going to have better reach over. And we quickly exchanged uh, what customers want. And Gordo's understanding of the truck customer, he got it. And when it comes to the looks of the truck, I stay out of his way. He is going to create a great truck. Everything we do on this truck is, is either based in, from a styling standpoint, either based in our DNA, uh, based on function or and specifically aerodynamics. So that played a huge role in how this truck looks. Uh, we spent a lot of time in the wind tunnel. So we've got active grill shutters on all of our models that close out the uh, frontal opening to make the uh, air travel around the truck versus trying to get straight through. Uh, this triple plan view that we call it, uh, where it, it allows the, the uh, the air to flow over the um, over the grill and through the lamps and detach at the lamp corners. So we've squared up the corners a little bit at the sides to allow the air to detach. We've laid the windshield over a little bit more. Uh, we've also lowered the air dam that works in harmony with our tailgate. And when we when we walk around there, you'll see we've got a, a tailgate spoiler that works uh, in harmony with this front spoiler and provides for a significant aero improvement. We also made improvements from a visibility standpoint. That's very important to our customers. So what we did was we lowered the belt line uh, approximately an inch, um, and that translates into the back, uh, the box as well, so it's better visibility inside, 
but it also gives you better reach over into the box floor. Um, the other thing we did that's, uh, we actually evolved one of our most signature unique character cues to create that Ford brand look that we're looking for, um, is the drop down in the belt. Uh, we lowered that about two inches, and you can imagine what that does for the customer from an interior visibility standpoint. Um, we've taken the sail panel forward about 100 millimeters, so we actually relocated the divisc, put it in the IP, and pushed that uh, sail forward to provide for much better visibility out the front and the sides. You can see uh, we've also got a signature feature drop down, but what we actually did in, in the header we, we actually raised the glass up to provide better forward and up vision. The other interesting collaboration was with research. Research delivered for us all of these high strength aluminum alloys and they normally stop when a program kicks off and says we're done. This is the first time we've taken research engineers, probably 20 of them, all the way through a program because uh, when you spec uh, a fender or a structure for an A-pillar or an outer hood in a new alloy, it was the research folks that said, you know what, we better know the gauge, the strength and the tempering of that nine months in advance of you building your first prototypes. So without the help of the research team on just getting us the, uh, the metal through all of the prototype phases, just that nuts and bolts, we would have never gotten this far. The idea of going to an aluminum top hat or aluminum cab, box, and front end is, uh, you know, it's not revolutionary at all. It's out there. It's out there in heavy trucks. It's out there in the military. It exists. Uh, so, and these alloys that we use, these 6,000 series alloys, they've been around for decades. So all of that existed. Why now? Why this truck? Customer wanted toughness, size, and efficiency. And with all of our learnings, um, through uh, collaborations with companies that we used to own, Aston Martin, Jaguar, and all of those aluminum vehicles, we finally had the computer-aided engineering tools that were able to keep up with design. When you're designing a vehicle like this, uh, this changes, this changes, this changes 10, 15, 20 times, either for strength, for styling, package efficiency. Oh no, we're gonna put something under there. We needed a depression. Being able to fast cycle those changes through the, the, the structure of the material, the formability of the material uh, has to keep up with steel. And we now had the tools where we said, hey, we can do this program in aluminum, high strength alloys, and we could do it as fast as a steel program. It was an easy mission. Take 700 pounds out, everything gets better. Ride, handling, steering, uh, acceleration, braking, uh, towing, hauling, and fuel economy. It was easy to rally around that, and the team had a, 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 great, a great time working together.